Now, you know we love a good party here on ISF, and who better to party with than the Florida Panthers? Now, these are your weekend plans right here, so listen up. The Cats B-Side event is a post-game electronic music event happening on Saturday, March 25th at 8 p.m. This is taking place immediately after the Panthers go head-to-head -head against the New York Rangers at FLA Live Arena. Rob Stevenson, the executive vice president of people and facilities at the Florida Panthers, joins us now in studio to share why you cannot miss out on this event. Rob, welcome to Inside South Florida. It's great to see you. Thanks, you as well. This event, Cats B-Side, we are blending music and hockey. It's a synergy, right? Yep. Miami, Miami Music Week is happening. You yes. thought, let's be a part of that. We're bringing people up north to FLA Live Arena. It's going to be a great time. Yes. Tell us about it. It's going to be a blast. So I think for us, um, you know, we've kind of looked at what this franchise is and where its place is within South Florida. Um, when we kind of initial, initially came up with this idea for the show, people thought we were crazy. Of course. But... We're a hockey team in South Florida, so. Well, little crazy. <laughs> let, 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 let's be crazy, right? Right. We need to innovate around the synergy of music and sports. When you think about an arena, especially NBA or NHL, a hockey game or a basketball game owns a date, or a concert owns a date, but music and sports are inextricably linked. Well, no, let me stop right there because yeah. uh, that's a really good point. Drake says that they want to be us, we want to be them when you're talking about sports and, and music. And they are the original influencers, athletes and rappers, musicians. That's it. That's it, right? And so for us in hockey, we move this year for every player to have their own goal song, right? Like they, they are inextricably linked. Sure. So why not try to operate that way? and execute that it's way. It's smart. So that's what we're trying for. Electronic music though. You could have went yeah. hip hop, you could have went top 40, but you chose electronic music and the lineup is off the charts. It doesn't matter what age group of hockey you're involved in. It could be squirts all the way up to the pros. If you walk by a locker room, there's gonna be some electronic music playing on that playlist, right? I, I hear it every game day when I'm walking on event level, electronic music's bumping. Warm ups, electronic music's bumping. In game, electronic music's bumping. There's a synergy there with the sport of hockey itself. There's a huge European connection. Um, and for us, it just like, it, it made total sense. And part of it too was functionality, right? Like who could we really get that would also be an insane performance? We well, wanted to knock it out of the park. And so the event's happening March 25th, 8 p.m. right after the, the, the Cats take on the New York Rangers. It's gonna be great. Yep. Uh, how can we get tickets? And if they are, if we have fans that are attending that game, the first 5,000 can automatically be allowed in and can have a good time? That's exactly right, right? Okay. We're trying to change what it means to come to a Florida Panthers hockey game, right? So you got a ticket to the game, you scan that game ticket, you go right then into the concert. Then get the purchase. That's it. It's, it's, it's gonna be an amazing experience. Literally transition straight from watching a hockey game out into this concert electronic music experience that's going to go until one or two in the morning. This is a sense of, this is a version of giving back to the community. That's 100%. Right. I mean, you you work with Tropical Financial Credit Union, who also has a really good initiative with you guys. Why is that important? I mean, obviously what you just talked about was hockey, South Florida, we're here. We want to immerse ourselves in the community. Speak to that because it's a big deal. Yeah, no, 100%. I think I, I look at it in two ways. One, it's, it's good business. Good right? business. It's good business. Um, but really what it is, is there's a more, I believe sports teams have a moral obligation to their communities and to the people that, that live in them. Yes. Right. Um, and, and we do that in so many, in so many different ways, the scope of our community relations team and foundation, what they do in the community touches so many different diverse, um, pockets of South Florida. And, and this is hopefully one way to give them something special. It's very special. Again, it's going down this Saturday, 8 PM at FLA Live Arena on the JetBlue Tarmac. That's it's going right. to be a great time. Vice President of People and Facilities for the Florida Panthers, Rob. Doing Thank the good you. work, man. Thank you, Jason. Glad to have you on ISF. Have a good time this weekend. Thank you so much. See ya.